Have you done anything, for example, to use that video to protect this particular move? Let's call it the ironing board bell move in some species of law. What's original about it? Why should somebody else not be able to pick up an ironing board? I protect it the same way as the magicians protect their own magic. It's kind of an honour amongst uh, clowns and entertainers not to use somebody else's gimmick or prop or idea. Thank you, sir. Without, words... with, without permission, without permission. Thank you, sir. Now, what exactly is your complaint, then? You say Andy has prevented you or prohibited you from using this trick. He's put an embargo on me. So I can't use it. He's injuncted you in some way. He has. And he did so after you'd invested in what? Um, I bought the ironing board and I bought a set of handbells, Judge. <laughs> and some sheet music. I didn't find out he bought the iron... <laughs> You're... There. You're consequently suing him. Cos you say, as a matter of law, he has injuncted you from using equipment that he's not entitled to do. And so, therefore, you've paid for an ironing board and some bells and you want your money back because you would have thought that he would give you permission, correct? Well, you see, I've got a police dodging car and it's very unique. It's one of the only ones in the country. And Andy fell in love with my dodging car just like I fell in love with it. Yes. <laughs> uh, see, uh, so, he fell in love with my dodging car just like I fell in love with his ironing board. So I've allowed him, I've, I've used my permission and said to my uh, vehicle... You maker, use my dodgem and... I, oh, no, I no, said. no, Judge, no. <laughs> He's not allowing me to use his dodgem. It's his best friend who builds the dodgem and Rob convinced me to buy one from his best friend. I've I agreed to... I cannot done a tell you how much I don't care, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the point is this, that... You believe that your unique thing is the dodger. Yes. You gave permission for Andy to use said dodger or to buy one or to use that gimmick. Consequently, you believed it was implied that you would have equal permission to use his ironing board and bell gag. There was no direct agreement as a... No, a, a it was implied, sir. Uh, do you have the bells with you by any chance? I do, sir. You know when you ask a question... And you don't expect that answer. Let's pause for a second. <laughs> Have you learnt how to play them? Uh, briefly, because I've got an embargo, remember? I'm not a You don't have an injunction! <laughs> He's even bought a bag for his bells now. <laughs> Judge? <laughs> he never had the bag, but. Sorry. Yes, of course, let's get your bells in order. <laughs> I'm ready to go, Judge. I don't care, but there you are. Go on. That's the musical equivalent of a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed that video, then I strongly suggest clicking here for more highlights. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, and why not, so that you never miss out, subscribe. Clicking down there, that's an order.